back with me is Safari Jeff with Boanita. Yes. We go from chameleons and lizards to boa constrictors. Yes, that's right. You know, over the years, whether you love them or hate them, snakes have been some of the most popular animals in the program, as you can see. And uh, in this case, I've always had a fascination with albino animals. Albinos uh, occur in all forms of the animal kingdom, from insects to humans. And uh, you're in good hands. I, I'm getting a little nervous. Or lack of them, <laughs> lack of hands. Um, she is very gentle. So in this case, being albino, she lacks her normal color, and uh, in, instead you see this brilliant yellow snake, very unusual. Unusual. Oh, I did not expect you to pull one out of your pocket. That and have a look you're at a magician. This one is also albino. Uh, the blood python gets its name from its blood red color. In this case, this blood python produces a little bit of orange pigment still, uh, making it a very colorful snake, very unusual. I'm getting a little nervous. This one thinks I'm chicken. This one <laughs> seems pretty comfortable. You know, the first experience to see an animal up close such as this or to touch is a very memorable moment indeed. Would I be able to hold it, or is that out of the question? Yes, yeah, of course. Okay, yeah. let's let's see if we can let's see if I can do this okay. here. So the blood, she is very strong. Tell very, me what I do. Very small body, but still very strong. Okay. okay. And there we go. Okay, so just like so. Perfect. Just like so. Yep. And it's not going to come after me. No, you're good. Okay. You're good. Snakes are constantly flickering their tongue, smelling and tasting their environment, okay? We're not on the menu, so no worries there. And in this case, this uh, very large bodied snake can grow up to about five or six feet long. That's not very long for a giant snake, but... And he's coming at me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but I am shaking like someone... You know what? I, I still remember the first moment I ever experienced a snake when I was a young guy. And and uh, I know what that feeling is like. It's hard to bring myself back there. I, I work with these animals day in and day out. But I know it is very uh, stimulating and exciting to experience an animal like this for the first time. Well, where are, the, where are these centrally located? These guys are uh, Malaysia, Borneo. Some blood pythons are found there. Pythons are a generally old world snake. So Africa, Asia, and Australia. The boas are new world snakes, typically North and South America. And they range as far north as British Columbia. Oh, so they kind of like the rainy weather. They do. Okay, well, yes. it's not so rainy in Fort McMurray, so I don't think they could survive here. But why I want to bring in the rain subject is because I want to check in with our local forecasts.